ancient aliens, underwater civilizations, and unexplained phenomena, why is it that the world's most mysterious talking points are always the most intriguing? Yeah, there are many question marks hanging over our planet, and everyone from anthropologists to astrophysicists have joined forces over the years to try and solve the unexplained. Still, to this day, mankind is discovering all kinds of bizarre and unusual things tucked away in the dark corners of the globe, leading to the biggest question of all, will we ever find the answers we're looking for? From creepy buildings appearing out of nowhere in the middle of the desert to people searching for shadowy buried treasure using only cryptic clues, these are the 15 mysterious things you have never seen before. Do they have cameras on them where they're watching us and what we're doing? Can they see into our homes? Are they looking into our homes? <laughs> Yeti Crab With 80% of our oceans still unexplored, it's inevitable that every once in a while we'll discover a brand new species that will blow everyone's mind. And that's exactly what happened when deep sea scientists stumbled across this very curious crab living in the South Pacific Ocean. We're talking about the Fury Yeti Crab that's got everyone talking. Found for the first time in 2005, this six-inch animal lives over 7,000 feet below the ocean, lingering around boiling hydrothermal vents on the seabed. And its hairy pincers aren't even the most amazing thing about this crazy crab. Scientists realized that this outrageous organism was actually a part of a brand new biological family, which they named the Kiwede. Kiwa is actually the goddess of shellfish in Polynesian mythology, so there couldn't be a more perfect name for this incredible silky crab. It's believed that these peculiar hairs are actually used to collect toxins released by the deadly hydrothermal vents they live amongst, and the crabs can even regulate their delicate ecosystem using just their hairy bodies. Furry creatures under the sea, whatever's next. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. When this astonishing artifact first appeared on the internet, we couldn't help but think it must be some kind of ancient tool that had never been seen before. Come on, you have to admit, if there was ever something that looked like a Stone Age plug and outlet, this was it. But what on earth did it power before electricity? Well, as much as we would have liked this to be evidence of ancient alien technology, it turns out this astonishing object is the work of artist Jose Manuel Castro Lopez, a sculptor who manipulates stone as if it were clay. Using mainly quartz and granite, he carves rocks to look as though they're wrinkled and creased smoothing out the edges to make his artwork as natural looking as possible. Pretty amazing, right? Well, Jose certainly had us fooled. What'd you guys think about this mind-blowing sculpture? Join the conversation by using the hashtag missing topic in the comments below. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Cerro Azul Rock Art Archaeologists were left stunned and even in tears when they discovered this breathtaking ancient art in the depths of the Amazon rainforest. Dating back to a time when this legendary forest was in its infancy, these astonishing Ice Age paintings are thought to be anywhere from 11,800 to 12,600 years old. What a discovery! The Cerro Azul Rock art depicts a huge range of wildlife human activities and even giant creatures that once roamed the earth. We can see why the archaeologists that found these groundbreaking paintings were so emotional. Yeah, there are sketches of turtles, anacondas, eagles, and monkeys covering these ancient walls, all drawn using mineral pigments like ochre. But even more amazingly, now extinct animals like the mastodon and the giant sloth are also featured, suggesting Ice Age tribes may have lived amongst and hunted these enormous land mammals. These super realistic paintings were found in Colombia, an area that until recently was completely out of bounds due to rebel fighters in the area. To get to the site, researchers had to gain special permission and embark on a grueling five-hour trek to the previously forbidden part of the forest. We think it's safe to say that this was totally worth the trip. <laughs> Floating Objects Between December of 2019 and January of 2020, a series of UFO sightings shook the states of Colorado and Nebraska in the United States. Weird flashing lights in the sky, hovering orbs and strange patterns were all seen in the night sky, inspiring all kinds of outlandish conspiracy theories. 
These mysterious unidentified drones seem to have a wingspan of about 6 feet, and sometimes they flew in grid formations of nearly 20 drones at a time. This baffling activity even mystified government agencies, who claimed they had no idea who or what was behind the UFOs. Locals observed this lively light show for weeks, with no clue as to what might be occurring over their heads. Some even speculated this could be proof of alien spies, while others thought it might be the work of illegal underground cartels. While the sightings have stopped now, authorities are still none the wiser to what these floating objects might have been. What you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below. <laughs> Salt Cathedral This underground Roman Catholic church isn't your ordinary place of worship. Located 660 feet below the earth, the Salt Cathedral of Zipaquira in Colombia is an incredible work of architecture carved deep into a mountain. Not only is it a huge tourist attraction, but it actually attracts around 3,000 worshipers on a Sunday, as well as hosting real weddings. Wow, imagine getting married in this otherworldly cavern. This unusual sanctuary was originally built by miners who wanted a place to pray while they were underground, and now this epic church is considered by many to be the first wonder of Colombia. This cathedral is also extremely unique in that it's located nearby to one of the oldest human settlements in all of the Americas known as El Abra. This place gives us chills. We've never seen a church quite like this before. <laughs> Ooh. Camel haircuts. These barbers are showing off their extraordinary talents on the most unusual of clients. Yep, even camels need a haircut. These awesome camel hair designs are created by traditional camel barbers in countries like India and Pakistan and can often be seen at cultural festivals and cattle markets in the run-up to Eid ul Adha, also known as the Sacrifice Feast. Many livestock merchants believe that the beautiful and intricate designs sheared into the sides of their camels will attract buyers to their cattle, and they'll even charge thousands more for these glamorous camels. They sure do stand out from the crowd. Barbers use only the most basic of tools to create these shocking designs, with many using nothing but a small pair of rusty scissors. In fact, some of these awesome camel haircuts can take up to three years to create. From growing out the hair to trimming it to the right length and then dyeing and shearing it, pretty impressive, right? <laughs> Aerogel This mind-blowing transparent substance doesn't look like much, but it's actually the lightest solid on the planet. Yet aerogel is one of the world's rarest materials, and it costs thousands of dollars per ounce, even though it's made from 99.8% air. This ghostly substance is 1,000 times less dense than glass, with the lowest density of any solid known to man, and it can support 4,000 times its own weight. While it may look like nothing more than a wisp of blue smoke or even a phantom projection, aerogel is actually an amazing creation that is mostly used in the insulation of rocket ships as well as collecting space dust. It was first invented by a chemist Samuel Stevens Kistler in 1931, and it was actually the result of a bet with a colleague over who could replace the liquid and jellies with gas without causing shrinkage. Yet it was all fun and games in that chemistry lab. Who knew that a playful bat would result in one of the more incredible substances on our planet? Handfish These weird fish can walk on the ocean bed using finger-like fins to stroll across the seafloor. We are of course talking about the one and only handfish. This critically endangered species was first discovered back in the 1800s and it was thought that only 20 to 40 handfish existed in all the world in a small patch of ocean in Frederick Henry Bay, Tasmania. However, a recent breakthrough revealed that there was another group of these bizarre walking fish living in a separate group nearby, doubling the population of handfish known to man. Approximately five inches long and covered in warts, spines, and a bright red mohawk-style fin on its head, it's hard to believe that this rare creature actually exists in our oceans. Pratamarpha this abandoned strip on US Route 90 in West Texas, 60 kilometers northwest of the city of Marfa, is home to the world's most remote designer goods store. Yeah, this might be the very last place on earth you'd expect to find a luxury handbag, but the Prada Marfa shocked everyone while it seemed to pop out of nowhere in the middle of the desert. Thousands of dollars worth of purses and shoes can be seen through the windows, but all of the shoes in this mysterious store are right-footed, and the bags have no bottom. 
Not only that, but there is no door, no staff, and no tills. This really adds a new meaning to the phrase window shopping. So where did the Prada Marfa appear from? And why can't you buy anything? Well, this abandoned building is actually a permanent art installation by Scandinavian artists Michael Elmgren and Ingar Dragset, who revealed that the designer store is actually a sculpture meant to symbolize that without us, the customers, consumerism, and capitalism will one day fade away. No wonder these desert designer goods are gathering dust in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Mammoth Bone Sculpture A mysterious structure was unearthed deep in the forests of Russia, and archaeologists are still trying to figure out what it is. Yet yeah, this puzzling circular structure was believed to have been built a whopping 25,000 years ago, back in the Ice Age, and was constructed entirely of woolly mammoth bones. Hey, there were no bricks back then, you had to make do with what was lying around. That's right, ancient Paleolithic people used to hunt massive mammoths, and it looks like nothing went to waste. While they would have survived on the meat and used the furs for clothing, it seems like even the bone served a purpose too. Experts just aren't sure exactly what that purpose is. This 40-foot wide building had evidence of wood fires burning in the center, suggesting this could have been some kind of shelter during the freezing winters. But researchers think it's much more likely they were used as some kind of giant food larder. Using the bones of at least 60 mammoths, this strange circular structure could have actually been one of the first ever fridges in the world. Mammoth steak, anyone? Star Jelly this strange and mysterious goo has been found on grass or on tree branches since the beginning of time. But we're not only startled to figure out what this slippery substance really is, and slimy and translucent as it is, people hundreds of years ago believed that this so-called star jelly was brought down in meteor showers from space and must have been the byproduct of distant planets and galaxies far away. It was reported way back in the 14th century by a physician John of Gaddiston who described the bizarre blobs as a certain mucus-like substance lying upon the earth, and even he used the mystifying goo to treat abscesses. So what exactly is star jelly? Well, as you may have guessed, it didn't actually fall from space, and some experts believe it could be a form of slime mold, neither fungus nor animal, known to crawl of its own accord in search of food. But research has indicated that star jelly might actually be heron vomit, yeah, the Natural History Museum in the UK actually traced samples of star jelly to unfertilized frog spawn, which was swallowed by herons before being coughed back up again. The Donakil Depression Paleontologists call this incredible desert landscape the Cradle of Humanity, and this is an actual spot where they found the iconic Lucy fossil, believed to be the oldest ever ancient human. Despite possibly being the birthplace of all time, this mysterious location has been nicknamed the most inhospitable place on Earth, and temperatures can soar over 122 degrees in the dangerous Danakil Desert. Earthquakes, volcanoes, sulfur springs, and even lava lakes can all be found in this region of Ethiopia, and locals even call the deadly Danakil Depression the gateway to hell. With an average temperature of 34 degrees, not much survives here in the hottest, driest, and lowest place on Earth and the Danakil Depression only receives about 200 millimeters of rainfall each year. Despite this, the Afar people still call this desolate place home. It's considered to be so perilous that it's forbidden for tourists to visit here without an armed guard or a native Afar guide to help navigate the pitfalls of the most inhospitable place on Earth. Double Tornado What could possibly be worse than a tornado? Well, how about two tornadoes? Yeah, this megastorm brought not one, but two twin tornadoes towards the Nebraska town of Pilger in the US, causing mass destruction. These deadly funnels ripped through the town, tearing roofs off houses, and video footage of the shocking incident was caught on camera, showing just how powerful a double tornado can really be. Weather experts have claimed that this kind of freak weather is only seen once every couple of decades, but when it does happen, these multiple tornadoes can travel for over an hour, dealing a whole lot of damage along the way. But as mysterious as this bizarre weather phenomenon is, this isn't the first time a family of tornadoes has ripped through the US. One supercell storm system once produced a total of seven separate tornadoes in one evening in Grand Island, Nebraska back in 1980. 
The incident was nicknamed the Night of the Twisters. Pretty scary. <laughs> Astronaut Islands Surrounding the harbor of Long Beach, California, these mysterious islands may look like a millionaire's private paradise, but the truth is actually a lot less glamorous. These four man-made isles, known as the Astronaut Islands, are 10 acres each, lined with tropical palm trees and dotted with modern blue and white towers that look like luxury condos. Costing a staggering $22 million each, these islands are anything but luxurious. That's because they were actually built for the sole purpose of hiding ugly offshore oil rigs as part of a city beautification project. Disneyland architect Joseph Linesk was even hired for the job back in the 1960s to make these artificial islands as pleasing to the eye as possible. Brightly colored lights illuminate the islands at night, and there are even stunning waterfalls designed to disguise the industrial machinery installed here. Oil workers actually commute here every day, producing as many as 46,000 barrels of oil daily. But the astronaut islands are totally off limits to the public. It's even a felony to trespass here. Yeah, they may look like a tropical island paradise, but you definitely wouldn't want to take a vacation here. <laughs> Forrest Finn Treasure When art dealer and antique collector Forrest Finn discovered that he was diagnosed with terminal cancer in 1988, he decided to take his most valuable treasures and bury them in a chest in a mystery location in the U.S. With the intention of making this mystery spot his final resting place, Finn created a series of elaborate cryptic clues that would lead treasure seekers to the chest, leading to an epic scavenger hunt that gripped the nation. It appeared that Finn had buried $2 million worth of precious goods somewhere in the Rocky Mountains, and in 2010, he published a book called The Thrill of the Chase that promised to shed more light on the exact whereabouts of the chest, which he wrote contained gold nuggets, rare coins, jewelry, and gemstones. Nine clues were said to be hidden in the book, and many people tried and failed to find the elusive Forrest Finn treasure, some even losing their lives along the way. Finally, the mystery was solved in 2020, when a medical student finally tracked down the chest in Wyoming, although he refused to reveal the exact location of the buried treasure. Tube-nosed bat Some creatures are just so weird-looking that it's hard to believe they exist on our planet. Is this a bat or some kind of alien life form? The eastern tube-nosed bat lives in northeastern Australia and is covered in random yellow spots all over its wings. But the most distinctive feature of this flying critter has to be its bizarre tube-shaped nostrils that can move independently from one another. It's thought that these odd appendages are used to sniff out fruit in the rainforest and they may even serve as a kind of snorkel that allows them to breathe while they chow down on delicious guava. Yeah, this is one strange looking beast. So there you have it. Have you ever seen any of these awesome mysterious things in real life? You can let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.